Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and you might recognize me from YouTube. So today I saw a question in the INFP group that I thought was really interesting and it was directed at INFPs and it was about manipulation. Are INFPs more manipulative or are INFPs more easily manipulated? What I think was interesting about this question is uh, if you look at INFP personality type and if you look at the study of archetypes in general, there is an archetype called the innocent or the utopian or the romantic. Now I believe INFPs fit this archetype to a T. INFPs are, because they are introverted feeling types, some of the most innocent in the sense that they tend to stay out of shady or corrupt environments. They tend to avoid doing things that will tarnish their ethics. They try to avoid using unethical means to get ahead. They are unlikely to cheat or lie or steal or do unethical things to get forward in life. So when you look at INFP personality type, INFPs in a flow state believe that their innocence is going to save the world by remaining and being innocent and by being able to do things in a way that I consider to be ethically good, I am going to improve my life and society around me. I am going to save the world by making sure that I remain free from corruption. In order to facilitate this, I think INFPs often go through moments of cleansing themselves and that means cleaning themselves and washing their hands away off things they have done that they consider to be problematic or things that they have said or done that they shouldn't have. INFPs will often avoid uh, owning up to having done bad behavior or having done bad things and will try to and will have a blind spot into thinking they are better than what they are. Now, INFPs might actually be better than the average, but that doesn't mean necessarily that they are free from sin or from <laughs> unethical or stupid choices and life decisions. And it is going to happen even for an INFP that sometimes in a weak moment of vulnerability and insecurity, they are going to do bad things and they are going to say things they shouldn't and they're going to uh, play around the rules and uh, they are going to let themselves get corrupted. This is also why cleansing is such an important ritual for you as an INFP. What I mean with this is just taking a step back from a situation, owning up to what you did, reflecting on your behavior and deciding for yourself to never do it again. Now, when it comes to innocence, I think with innocence comes the susceptibility to being manipulated, letting yourself be played, letting yourself be used by other people who have less than less than honorable aims or intentions. So letting people manipulate you or letting people use you. INFPs are, however, not necessarily gullible. What I mean with this is INFPs are sometimes aware of the fact that people are playing games with them or are doing unethical things towards them. However, INFPs can feel powerless to do anything about it. I cannot control the fact that the other person is trying to use me or manipulate me or take advantage of me. I, because I, I don't want to fight back or I don't want to get my hands dirty with this person. So it can mean choosing to respond with innocence or with a smile or with uh, looking the other direction when another person is doing something bad. This can lead to tolerating bad behavior or unethical people or toxic or unhealthy behavior in your life. And this can mean that you have people in your environment that constantly treat you badly, but you find yourself constantly afraid to speak up or to have a conflict with that person about what they are doing. So this means a lot of time INFPs go through this phase of uh, just looking the other way and pretending not to see something until the problem goes up to here over their shoulders and they start feeling like they're drowning in this bullshit. So what you find yourself feeling is, oh, everybody is using me, everybody is manipulating me, or this person is constantly dealing with me in a bad way. And that leads to the INFP blow up. And uh, sometimes INFP rage can be likened to the Hulk because they go from this innocent sensitivity to this yeah, full out rage or fury over another person's behavior. 
And this is typically very overt and very direct and sometimes even aggressive because it has been hauled down so long that your anger with that person is so high that you believe yourself warranted to say or do anything to get retribution towards that person. This is why, as an INFP, it's important to recognize the warning signs of a blowout early and just going, wait a second, this is becoming too much for me, or oh, wait a second, I can't handle this anymore. I'm done with this, I'm tired with this, this is too much. This is important because that means you can start really addressing the problems earlier. You can already have a conversation with that person and say, you're not allowed to say any more like that. You're not allowed to go any further. Tread carefully. You're really starting to hurt my feelings right now. Or I would warn you for saying anything more than this at this point because I have heard enough, you know. Uh, just letting the other person know you're done or that you're not dealing with it well or that you're starting to take it badly or that it's becoming too much for you. This is also the strategy to addressing bullies. Uh, just letting them know that you're pushing me too far right now. You're taking the yoke farther than what I want. You're going, um, you're not, you're past playfulness at this point. This is too much for me. Now, as an INFP, there can come after the blowout, there can come like this guilt. Uh, somebody else treated you in a bad way. You lashed out and you went too far when you lashed out. And so you can find yourself caught in this spiral of uh, the guilt causing you to crawl back to that person and apologize. Now, sometimes this can be necessary and important uh, to get forward in your life because, yeah, you have people in your life, co-workers, classmates that you will never be away from, that you can never avoid. And you're going to need to be at least on friendly terms with these people. However, it can mean that you set up boundaries and then raise down your own boundaries in the next second. So think carefully about what you say and what you apologize for. Recognize your boundaries and what caused you to do what you did, but apologize for the method in which you expressed yourself and which you stood up for yourself and let them know that, yeah, this is what I was really upset about and this is what I want you to stop doing, but I also own up to taking, having taken it too far or having done bad things in retaliation. So, INFPs, do you feel gullible or you feel that you've been easily manipulated or used in the past? And how have you signalized boundaries to other people, to your boss, your coworkers, or your friends or family members in times when they uh, pushed you too hard or backed you into a corner or yoked at your expense or treated you in a bad way? That's my end question for this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one.